Yeah, so it sounds like we got an interview with Dog right now. Dog, can you hear us? Yeah, I can. Wow, excellent stuff from you so far. 5-0 now in HPL. I believe Tannen's going to have the, the first question for <laughs> All right, so why handlock three games in a row? I want to know that one. Um, okay, so I don't know if you guys know this, but I live in Texas, and the Archon people live in Texas, so I visit them. And every time I go over there, his lay is just like, going crazy about how patron like how good patron is and every time i see him play he just plays patron so i was like oh i'll just bring handlock with double ooze like i should be able to win like pretty consistently with that i did end up like dropping a game against him um but yeah and then the curveball right at the end you had queued up handlock three times in a row and then you swapped over to a more aggressive uh warlock deck talk to us about the mind games that are happening there um well okay so i assumed he got mad because i like oozed his weapon twice, and then I oozed it again, and then he was like, oh shit, like, I should probably not play Patron Warrior. Um, so then, he, like, he, whenever you're, uh, whenever you're doing this, you can change your decks and stuff, but he, like, most people don't, right? Like, they just stay in the, the, like, loadout menu, but he, like, quit the menu and, like, made a deck really fast. So I was like, what beats, like, Handlock pretty consistently? I was like, he's probably running Druid with a couple of BGHs. So I was like, I'll just deal, like, Zoo, I already have him Ape. Why not? All right, so um, we... We see that you're 5-0 here in HPL. Just been playing great, queuing up great. You just you're coming off a finals appearance at DreamHack as well. What's going on? What are you doing different? <laughs> like, why are you in such this amazing heater? Is there anything different? Have you been practicing more, etc.? Uh, I've actually been practicing less. I think it's just, I don't know. Maybe it's luck or something. I I have no idea. I I guess I'm playing a little bit better, but. There's not much else to it, I don't think. You can say practicing less, but I saw you playing three games at once uh, over the <laughs> weekend. Try so you, yeah. yeah, so, you know, figure it out for yourself with that one. And then uh, the final thing I'm going to point out for you here, this isn't really much of a question, but uh, in the in the last game of the series, um, Zelay actually opened up with two copies of Big Game Hunter in his hand, yeah. uh, and he kept on to one of them. So you, and you could see him even smile a little bit in his camera <laughs> after he saw you play the turn one flame imp. So you definitely got the better of him in this match. Congratulations on your win tonight in HPL, and at 5-0, you are certainly a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, thanks, guys. That's going to do it for that matchup. And then once again, wow. He, Who's going to beat Dog? I, what, I want, what, I what I want to know is when a guy claims he's practicing less while he's playing three games of Hearthstone <laughs> at the same what time. What was he doing before yeah, that? Yeah, what was he doing before that? That's what I want to know. <laughs> so that's going to do it for tonight's match. That went in the book. What a great one that wow. was. And if you guys want to see all the highlights from uh, tonight, you can head over to pvplive.net and check them out for yourself. All the recaps replays, stats, breakdowns, everything you need to know about the strategies they played tonight and how they played them is available on the website as well as their competitive careers. But just what an excellent series we've had today. Super JJ and uh, Complexity, you know, along with Dog, they've won both of their matches tonight. There are a combined eight in one in HPL. Man, just, there's a ton of teams really cementing how good they are here in HPL. And it's really important, as you said, any team that puts a player into the top eight of this tournament is automatically invited back next season. And you know what? We can see the standings and how they're shaping up right now to see who's really going to make a push in this next season. And there you see it at the top, Dog, at 5-0. The second person with a five-game win streak here. But as you said, he's only had five matches. How long can he go with this? How much can he keep this up? We're going to find out as the weeks continue and unfold. Jab dropped his match over to Purple, who was able to put himself at a 3-2. And Zelay dropped his match to Dog. So Archon's got an even record so far in the league. And, uh, you know, sort of towards the bottom, we got the players who need to really turn around this back half of, uh, the, I'm sorry, the back two-thirds of this season. Ecop sitting at one and four, Green Sheep at one and four. Yeah, still then, plenty of time for yeah, all of them. Yeah. You know, two-thirds of the season still left to get it done. And Oskaka, we've only seen him play two matches so far. Really looking forward to his busier weeks that are coming up. Always an excellent player to watch in that regard. Uh, but you just such great stuff we've seen from everyone tonight. That's, I mean, just beautiful all around. Yeah, and you know, we got a great lineup tomorrow as well. In our first match tomorrow, Super JJ is coming back. He's going to keep trying to look to get that, that winning uh, ways for his team. He's going to be playing against Era in match one. In match two, we get to see Oskaka, the one you were talking about, you know, the Freeze Mage player. What's he going to do against Kranich? It's always hard to understand and know what Kranich is going to do, just bringing crazy decks with every different class yeah, in every actually, match. He mentioned that he chose his decks at random. He prepared rolling dice. He would prepare yeah. a number of strategies and then choose at random to keep from getting targeted that one. And then, of course, the third match, Delay's coming back to try to even up his record. He's going to be having to face off against Green Sheep, who so far has been relentlessly aggressive in every single one of his matches. Yeah, I got to think that's a really good match up for Grim Patron there. Green Sheep's going to be really aggressive. Zelay can really stifle his early aggression and kill him very quickly with Grim Patron. Yeah, but remember guys, the show doesn't stop there. Once again, you can head over to pvplive.net and follow along with all of your favorite players, their standings in the league, their schedules, who they've played so far, who they're going to play, everything that you need to know about HPL 
and their competitive histories is available on there. And also remember, every Monday through Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Central Time, right here on twitch.tv slash PVP Live, we're going to have more matches for you. You can hit that follow button and make sure you never miss a live show. You certainly don't want to be missing all the action as it's happening. I can promise you it's excellent stuff and seeing it live, always a better experience. For everyone here at the PVP Live studios, guys, thank you for watching Hearthstone on PVP Live. I am Nathan, that's admirable with the Tan and Grace, and we'll see you tomorrow night.